Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we got our starter, Chikorita, Charlie the Chikorita. Charlie is glowing with health. How fantastic. And we made it to Cherry Grove City, uh, where we are on our quest to find Mr. Pokemon and see what he has discovered. So let's head north and see what's happening here. Oof, oof, I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy gent loaded the map card on Dale's Poker Gear. So yes, Dale's Poke Dale's Poker Gear can now show the town map. Select the Poker Gear on the touch screen and then select the town map icon. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. Uh, oh, there's a little hint there. I just realised that. <laughs> the Poker Gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. So let's check that out quickly. Why not? We haven't seen the Poker Gear yet. So the Poker Gear is basically like a smartwatch. <laughs> Um, so we got the, the main app, which is the phone, where we can call things up, or call people up, uh, of people like, uh, our mother. Hello! Oh, hi Dale, so how goes the errands you're helping Professor Elm with? I know you're determined, you'll be okay, and it's, it's, they're very much one-sided conversations. Uh, so then we also have the town card, uh, and this might be a little difficult to see because, um, because my bottom screen is a bit small on, on this, uh, on this, uh, video. But uh, it's basically the town map which you can move along, and uh, in the top screen we'll get different information. Then on the far left we have options, such, well, it's not options, it's just the four backgrounds, or six backgrounds, uh, which we can change of our Poker Gear. Uh, so for example, there's the Team Rocket one. My favourite one is the sort of Zen one, I guess. Uh, we've also got this one, which is actually kind of cool, I quite like that. And uh, the sixth one is... Uh, an open Pokeball? Actually, I like that one. Let's let's go with that one. Very important decision there. Anyway, so carrying on, we're going to head north now into the Route 30. And uh, thank you all very much for your responses in the first episode. It's great to see so many people who will be enjoying the series and joining me along with it. Um, everyone pretty much said, uh, just go ahead and keep the battles in. Show the battles, because I gave the option. Should I show them? Should I speed through them? Or should I skip them? And uh, all the responses said, show. So that's what I'll be doing. Which I think is actually probably the best thing to do as well, because uh, I'm... I, I would... Mm, ha, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit here. I'd consider myself a Pokemon expert. Um, so, uh, maybe you guys aren't as good, but you'd like to be better, and perhaps by showing you battles, I can uh, I can teach you a thing or two. Like, I, it was, I, I went kind of in-depth in the first episode about stats. Um, I won't go super in-depth about anything. Wow, that did hardly any damage. Yeah, I won't go super in-depth about anything, but uh, uh, maybe you can pick up a few things here and now. So uh, here we have a new Pokemon, kind of. Well, new for this Let's Play anyway. It's a Caterpie, Bug-type. Um, very quick to evolve, but not very good overall. Um, I thought Razor Leaf could do some extra damage there, but I completely forgot that Grass-type isn't very effective against... Bug type, which is silly of me, considering I just said I was a Pokemon expert. There you go. That's what happens when you toot your trumpet. Um, so it looks like Charlie's going to level up here to level 7, which is fantastic. It's going to be very helpful later on. Um, and there's a little item over here which I wanted to try and get. And I didn't get it, because there's a Pokemon battle right at the end of the, the grass. There's another Caterpie, another level 3 Caterpie. Which is fine, which is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll manage, I'm sure. Um, now that we're level 7, we can do quite a bit more damage. Ooh, maybe we can't do a bit more damage. I thought that would that would do a bit extra, but obviously not. Um, so I've been thinking about the Pokemon I want to use in this Let's Play. And I did say in the last episode, at least I think I did, um, if not, then I'll say it now, that I'm, I'm planning on only using 5 Pokemon. I mean, last time in Leaf Green, I did 6. Uh, I think by using 5 Pokemon, it'll be more of a challenge to get through the game. Especially the, the final, final battle. Um, I think that'll be very fun to do with just five Pokemon. And I, I might use a, a sixth Pokemon as a HM slave, kind of like I did with Harry, but I won't be able to switch out and uh, use other Pokemon. Oops, there's another wild battle. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of my team being uh, five, yeah, five regular Pokemon and then a HM slave. Probably another Paris, even though I said that I wanted to go with um, uh, just second generation Pokemon. And uh, Chikorita is taking a little bit of damage here, which isn't good. Uh, may have to heal him up in a bit, because uh, this Pidgey's doing three damage each time it uses Tackle. I'm probably doing a little bit more, but this could be bad, especially if it gets a critical hit. I'm going to let it do one more, and then I'm going to use one of the potions which I received at the beginning of the last episode. Oh, critical hit! Um, 
Yeah, I'll risk it. I'll risk another one. Hope it hits and doesn't miss. That way I can heal at the end of the battle and be a full health. Because I've got a feeling this may be our first trainer hit. No, I don't think it is, actually. Uh, so here we have the bag, and it's split into different compartments along the top. So there's hold items, um, I think healing items, pokeballs, uh, moves, berries, uh, mail, uh, I think those are stat items actually, and then key items. So uh, our potions are in our healing items, and uh, we will use them, or we, we, we will use one. Um, the thing I love about the fifth generation Pokemon games is how they added the ability to use multiple items at once. Oh, you're wearing the running shoes! They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But beware of wild Pokemon and trainers, when you run the noise will attract them. See, that's an interesting tidbit. Um, if you're walking, you actually get less wild um, less wild interactions in, during battles than if you're running. Uh, same with trainers. They will, um, If you're running, they will look at you. Or there's, there's a higher chance of them spotting you as you're walking by. Anyway, let's go into this house and see what's in here. Who are you, sir? Are you Mr. Pokemon? No. People usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. Did you mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of these trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I'm so happy I'll give you this. So yes, we've gained the uh, apricorn box. Um, with that apricorn, you, sorry, with that apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. So we did come across a tree last time, uh, just before Cherry Grove. We'll go past it again. Uh, but yes, these apricorn trees, uh, if you interact with them once a day, they'll wiggle and pop out a little fruit. Um, the green apricorn, and you can actually turn these into pokeballs later on in the game when we get to a certain town. Uh, just going to have a quick look because I got a feeling. You can also use them as hold items. Uh, see, the apricorn box will be left in the uh, in the key items. Um, oh no, they're, they're used later on in uh, some optional stuff, which we'll get into a little bit later. Anyway, let's continue on and see if we can come across Mr. Pokemon's house. Um, shouldn't be much further. Uh, okay, so another Caterpie. This is typical of um, Pokemon games, as you should know. Uh, you tend to start off by fighting uh, bug-type Pokemon. There's n there's nearly always a forest right at the beginning of each Pokemon game, and it's always got bug Pokemon in it and Pidgeys, and uh, I can't think of anything else. Sometimes Pikachu as well. There's, there's Pikachu in some forests. Um, fifth generation again. There was another one where there's a, a really big forest with lots of different bug-type Pokemon's right at the beginning. Um, so yeah. Okay, this string shot is going to be quite annoying. Because um, I just I just want to hit the lamb caterpie. Come on, critical hit, please. Nope. Okay, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. At least it's not doing any damage to us. Um, I'm just worried we're going to run out of PP uh, for the uh, for tackle because I don't have any other moves that can damage these uh, Pokemon. Which is going to be a big problem in our first gym. I may have to do some training up before that gym battle. Um because we may have issues. Um, oh, another battle. I took like three steps and I had another one. Okay, let's see what we got. It's another Pidgey. Okay, so this should go a bit easier than the Caterpies because, well, we just leveled up. Again, wow, we're level eight already. We haven't even, oh, that didn't do much. Yeah, we're level eight already and we haven't really gotten very far in the game. Um, I don't know if it's typical to be level eight sort of before you reach Mr. Pokemon's house. Um, I think I've, I think it's just because I've been doing all of these wild battles and not um, running from them. I think that's that's the reason why I've got quite a lot of experience already. Um, but it's good, it's good. Uh, we won't be getting our first other Pokemon or our next Pokemon for quite a little bit. Uh, so that's okay. It's okay to train up Charlie first. And then uh, when the time comes, we shall train up our other team. I want to try and keep the uh, the other team members really balanced this time. Last time... I sort of went through a phase of it's an antidote, which is great if we get poisoned. I think this is mostly for uh, Soul Silver players who will be coming across um, Weedles in here. Anyway, let's see what this guy wants. A Pokemon can use its move as long as the move still has PP. When a move has no PP remaining, the Pokemon cannot use a move. Then you should take your Pokemon to a Pokemon Center or use items. There's an item called the Ether, so we can't go this way yet because go Ratata tackle. These these trainers are battling. <laughs> what? This is a big battle. Leave me alone. So yeah, these trainers are battling right in front of this ledge, so we can't go that way yet. So let's go this way. Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead. 
Fantastic. I wonder, actually, if we turn off our shoes... Ah. Okay, which way should we go now? Let's go this way. We can always go the other way around. Look at that. No... I jinxed myself. I was going to say, look at that. No no wild battles. Um, yeah, we can always go the other way around on the way back. That's only level 2. That should be easy enough. Uh, yeah, we'll go the other way around on the way back and see if there's any items hidden in there. And uh, if there is, we'll pick them up. Pocket the items. Okie dokie. So, tackle again. Take out the Pidgey. Very early on, there's no strategy really. It's just all spam, 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 button mache, button mache. <laughs> Um, I believe once we get to Mr. Pokemon's house as well, he may heal us, so uh, no need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, I may keep my running shoes off. Oh look, it's an apricorn bo uh, tree. It's an apricorn tree! Bloop, bloop, bloop. I think this is a punk, punk apricorn. Yeah, a punk apricorn. Um, so there you go. Uh, we'll get into those later, but for now we'll collect as many as we can. Mr. Pokemon's house. Awesome. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click that button. There we go. So let's go in and see what he needed. Oh, who's this guy? You must be Dale. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Yep, keep running around. Keep running around. <laughs> and walk really slowly. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Dale obtained the mystery egg, just like Professor Elm said it would be. A friend of mine from Ecritique gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon Evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You're returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. So yes, I was correct. We are going to get healed before we go, which is kind of important. And who's this guy walking up behind us? Has we, have we met him before? And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you're Dale. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see, you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. So yes, once again, we are receiving a Pokedex, of course. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to go to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Dale, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. So yes, we get Professor Oak's number, something we never managed to achieve in Leaf Green. <laughs> and with that, uh, Professor Oak leaves. And is Mr. Pokemon going to say anything else to us? Hi. Uh, sorry to trouble you having to go back and forth, but please make sure to hand it to Professor L. And we will. Uh, let's head on over there. Oh, we got a phone call. It's Professor Elm. H Hello, Dale? It's a disaster. Um, um, it's just, just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, no. Please get back here now. That's good, because we're then on our way. So a disaster seems to have struck Professor Elm in New Bark Town. We must rush to his rescue and see what's happened. But by rushing, we will attract more wild Pokemon, so let's not do that. Let's walk slowly. There were no hidden items there. And now we can run. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, those two trainers are still going to be battling. Um, we can actually take the ledge down here to go to Ch Cherry Grove City quickly and not take any more wild uh, Pokemon, or att get attacked by any more wild Pokemon. And um, let's just carry on, get to, prof uh, get to Professor Elm as quick as possible. But what's this? Oh, who is that? It's that guy from New Bark Town. Is You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I, too, have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. So this was the guy that was skulking around the uh, the uh, research lab back in New Bark Town. You're challenged by Passerby Boy. Passerby Boy sent out Cyndaquil. So he's also got one of the starters. Very interesting, isn't it? Uh, so unlike us, this starter is level 5. Um, luckily, it completely missed as well. Uh, I This is... Again, one of the really interesting things about this game is how uh, you you don't battle another starter right at the beginning of the game. You sort of go on a little side quest. Well, not side quest. It's it's a needed quest. But you go on a little quest before you um, before you have a chance to battle another starter. <laughs> You're doing okay for a weakling, I think that said. I wasn't looking. Sorry, I was talking. Uh, so yes, we've nearly defeated it. And we should get a bunch of extra uh, experience as well because this is a trainer battle. And as I said last time, you get 50% more XP for 
defeating a trainer's Pokemon than if it was wild, the same Pokemon wild. So 69 XP is quite a bit, actually. I think it's like pretty much an entire level's worth at this point. Uh, Chica, uh, Charlie learnt Poison Powder, which is fantastic. Some of which we won't need. Humph, <laughs> are you happy you won? So we got 500 Poké Dollars for winning, and uh, this guy, he's, he seems a bit like a, seems like a bit of a jerk. You want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Stop shoving us, guy. What are you done? Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Dun 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 dun. So there's something interesting which we'll get to in a bit as well. Uh, and since Professor Elm is in a hurry, oh actually no, I want to go up here and get that Apricorn. Eh, there we go. It's another green one, so. I just wanted to get it because we didn't get it last time. Dell obtained the green apricorn. Fantastic. Okay, so. Can you actually turn off the shoes? Holding B. No, you can't. Never mind. Uh, yeah, uh, as we found out last time, you can actually get back to uh, New Bark Town through jumping over the ledges, uh, and you won't actually have to walk in the grass. Ah, oh, one last piece of grass, and I would have made it out of there. Uh, oh well. Doesn't matter. Level 2 Pidgey, no threat for us. Okay, so let's just spam it with the tackles. And it shouldn't take too long, probably two hits. Yeah, two hits is all we need. Okay, so, oh, critical hit, good job. <laughs> okay, so, let's head on into the Pokemon Lab, since we're now back at New Barktown. Oops, I should have walked up a bit, but that, that was lucky anyway. New Barktown, let's go, oh, what do you want? Oh, your Pokemon is adorable, I wish I had one. Oh, thank you. Let's go in and see what the commotion is all about. Oh, there's a police officer here. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Now, it, shouldn't it be who, um, the, the, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime? Shouldn't you have said that? <laughs> oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Mm, not quite. Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. I saw him too. It was that jerk I just battled. What, you battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, that's interesting, because we saw his trainer card, didn't we? And uh, I'm actually going to call this guy... Actually, I'm going to tell you a quick story first. In the first Pokemon Gold and Silver game, I... When I battled the trainer, he was called question mark, question mark, question mark. And when we got... When I got back to Professor Elm's lab, this is how you name your rival, by the way. You can call him whatever you want, but when I got back to the Pokemon lab, I accidentally called him question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I added an extra one, and when I did it, I was mortified. I thought I did it wrong, there was only meant to be one, and I reset my game. Because I was a little kid and I didn't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with the default. Um, so, I see, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation, my next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. And, uh, well, oh, I wish we could learn the backstory for this character, but we can't. Because it was a, a Wi-Fi event before the or before. I could activate it on here. Anyway, Dale, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Thanks for that, Lyra. You saved our neck. So now we're going to talk to Professor Elm and see what happened. Dale, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Dale handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. So some good did come out of this. <gasps> huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what the secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Dell, is this true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people in as trainers. Wow, Dale, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun! Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League Champion. Or not! Haha! <laughs> Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. So, Dale, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mum. We will do that next episode, guys! It's the end of episode 2. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we managed to get all the way back from Cherry Grove City. We, we received the mystery egg from Professor... Uh, or from Mr. Pokemon. Got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. We also found and battled our rival for the first time, Mr. Silver. And uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time when we go talk to our mother and tell her that we are going to be taking the Pokemon Gym Challenge and are trying to defeat the champion of the Elite Four. 
once again, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.